Hey guys, today we're taking a look at how to hide apps directly on the home screen of your iPhone. This seems to be a very popular question, so I wanted to share with you guys about four or five methods on how to hide apps directly on the home screen of your iPhone, not using any type of modification, just built-in software features directly on your device. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, as you see here, this iPhone has about three pages of applications right here. I'm going to show you two initial easy ways on how to quickly hide apps directly on the home screen. And then I'm going to show you two additional methods that temporarily hide the apps. So let's just get right into the video. Now, the first thing we want to do to hide apps initially from the home screen, as you can see, I have three apps pages here. You want to tap and hold on the home screen here, and then it will go into edit mode. Just like so, you want to tap in through these dots here. And most people know about this one but if you're a beginner what you have to do is untick the pages that you don't want visible and this will only show the pages that you have ticked so there we go we now have only one page on the home screen now we only have this one visible and all those other apps are hitting from the initial view obviously because you can still find them directly within the app library but if you want to initially just hide them from the home screen that is the easiest and quickest method to do so now let's go back here and show you another method using a particular focus mode that you can create so let's go into settings here and let's go into the focus section now here you can create a focus on your device by the way this works in iOS 15 so any iOS 15 device go ahead and select an emoji or whatever character you want and we're gonna type here hide and then we're just gonna do app and then we're gonna click return and then click done okay so there we go now it's gonna ask you which contacts you're gonna allow to receive notifications from when you have this focus mode enabled so make sure you add everyone that you want to receive notifications from when you have this mode enabled so I'm just gonna select those two suggestions there then you're gonna do same thing for application I'm just gonna do this calendar app just for the purpose of the video just make sure you select any app you would like to see notifications from when you have this mode enabled just click allow and then just simply click done and you're all set and ready to go. Now what we have to do is select which apps will be visible to uh, the eye, right, to the home screen when this mode is enabled. So go to home screen here and then go to enable the hide badges so you don't have notification badges on the apps and then go to custom pages. Now here you're going to select the page that you want visible when you enable this mode. So we have three pages. I'm going to make one visible. That's all. And then click done here. And then when I go into the home screen, as you can see, I have three pages. If I go into control center here and go into focus modes and enable the hide apps focus mode, now it only shows me one page. Again, this is a quick method to enable this feature here directly from the home screen, but you can still find the apps within the app library. Now I'm going to show you two additional methods which require you to actually hide the apps themselves. However, there is a bit of a catch, and I'm going to show you that here in just a second. What you want to do is you want to head on into screen time settings here, and you want to go into contact restrictions. Right here, you want to enable this particular option, and once you enter the contact restriction passcode, which I can't remember, here we go, uh, you want to go ahead and click on allow apps. So right here, we have about 10 to 15 apps that you can hide from the initial view on the home screen, and this will actually hide the apps from the app library in any search on your iPhone as well so the camera can be completely hidden from the view as you can see right there the camera hides completely from the view you also have your FaceTime your emails you can also hide directly from the view they just disappear and you can't really search for them anywhere within the OS so there won't be visible anywhere else so let's go ahead and re-enable those so you have all these options here that you can choose from to hide these apps. However, if you have a third party applications like social media apps, any other app that you would like to hide permanently, how do you do that? Well, there's actually a method to do that as well. Now, this one, as I mentioned, is a bit more uh, complicated because when you do this, your apps will rearrange again. So you're, if you have all your apps in folders and things like that, they'll be all over the place once you disable this feature. So just keep that in mind. So for example, I have YouTube here. Let's go ahead and do YouTube and we're going to go ahead and place YouTube right here inside of Twitter just for the purpose of the video and we're going to go into the settings apps here and we're going to go into content restrictions and then we're going to go ahead and enter the passcode and once we're in we want to go ahead and we want to go into apps now what you want to choose here is an age limit and now YouTube and Twitter do have an age limit so if I select age 9 I believe YouTube and Twitter will be hidden from the home screen of iPhone completely 
yes, look, they're completely gone. You can't find them anywhere. If you go back, however, and you allow all applications, YouTube and Twitter will be back, but you can see right there, they're outside of the folder. So just keep in mind that if you have a bunch of apps in folders, when you re-enable these apps, they'll be outside of the folders. So you'll have to do that process all over again, but you can hide apps based on age. So if I type in the number four here, it hides a ton of my apps here. So you can see right there from the view. And if I go into no apps or don't allow apps, every app gets hidden from the view, except the stock Apple apps and apps that are for kids. Like, you know, you take the Disney plus stuff here and things like that. So when I re-enable it, go back to all apps, boom, all my apps come back into the home screen and these won't be searchable through the OS. So if you have an age restriction, this is the best method in my opinion to hide the applications from the view, from the OS, and so that no one can actually view these apps. And that about brings it into this video, honestly. These are four methods, two simple methods and two more complicated methods, but I think all these will apply to someone at some point. Let me know if you know any of these or if you know some yourself, you can contact me on Twitter, let me know about it. Thank you for watching this quick episode, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.